Hey YouTube, how are you all? Today I'm going to do my very first product review on what you see above, the Maybelline Fit Me collection. I'm specifically going to talk about the Maybelline Fit Me foundation, pressed powder, and concealer. So, I'm going to jump right into it. Maybelline Fit Me probably hit the stands late December, early January, and it may be sooner, it may be later than that. But that's when I remember seeing the Maybelline Fit Me collection. Uh, and when I saw it, I saw it everywhere. I didn't see it just like at CVS, just at Walgreens. Literally, I saw it at every mass, mass market location that there possibly could be. So the marketing team gets like an A++ for making sure that everybody everywhere knew that this collection was here, thriving, and ready to be purchased. The price points for the Maybelline Fit Me collection starts at $5.99, between $5.99, and goes up to about $7.99 depending on your mass market location. Maybelline Fit Me comes in 18 different foundations, shades, with coordinating concealers, powders, bronzers, and blushes. However, they missed the mark on some of their foundations. Even though they have 18 shades available, it would have been wonderful if they had a couple of shades that catered to some of the darker, deeper skin tones. The deepest skin tone that they have is 355, and I'm actually 355 mixed with 320, which is honey beige and coconut. And this is not going to cut it for anyone that's deeper or darker than these, than this particular shade. So I think that Maybelline could have actually done themselves a better service had they add at least one more shade um, deeper. I like the fact that this foundation or foundation set is very affordable for the cost of it you know you're really really getting nice looking products products that are complete meaning that you can actually do a full face of skin with this collection you can you have your foundation you have your powder your concealer your brush your blush and your bronze so i love the fact that maybelline thought about the entire skin your entire face i think that's great so let's talk about what I don't like about this product. Where do I begin? Okay. One, I don't like that it doesn't have a pump. Not that that's a big deal, but, and I guess for the price point, I won't make that a big deal. So discount that. I, I'll take that back. It's just because it doesn't have a pump, it really doesn't make a difference. I mean, for the price point, not having a pump really doesn't matter. Now, I initially knew that when I purchased this Maybelline Fit that I was going to have to buy two foundations. And I was okay with that. I'm okay because drugstore foundations, you're not really able to really test them, test them how you want to in the store. Besides, it's drugstore. So I know that I'm not, they're not going to have 20 to 25 shades that's going to cater to my specific skin tone. So I was okay with having to buy two foundations. What I'm not okay with is I'm not okay with the fact that this product claims to blend seamlessly onto the skin. It claims to let the skin breathe. It claims to match your natural skin tones. But they say nothing about this foundation not settling into the skin. What do I mean by settling into the skin? That means that when I apply the foundation, I want by the time I put my powder on for it to have at least set Meaning that I can't like move it around on my face. I can't touch it and it be all over the place. Be streaky just from me touching or tapping on my skin. I needed Maybelline to really, really, really have a product that was going to set. And this product does not set. Also, I don't like the fact that it doesn't last. I put this product on. And within an hour, it was already vanishing off of my face. Now, I had already read reviews. I had already seen YouTube videos of people saying, if you have oily skin, run away from this product. Well, I don't have oily skin. I have dry skin. So I'm thinking run to this product because if it's creating over, creating too much oil for my oilies, it'll be the right balance for someone who's dry because of course, if you're dry, you're always looking for something that's gonna be moisturizing, give you coverage, Yada yada yada. Well, after 20 minutes of wearing this foundation, I looked as if I had been running a mile. 
And I'm not talking about, oh, you just looked for clumped. You know, you look like you just a little steamy. I look like I had literally ran a mile. I was already starting to grow beads on my my nose, my forehead, my T-zone. Horrible. By the hour mark, 60 minutes, it had already started vanishing off of my skin. And that's with the powder. Let's talk about this powder real quick. What is it for? Like, why? This does not set my foundation. It does not absorb any oils. I dare not call it a translucent powder because it's not worthy of that. And this is 355 coconut. And this is 355 pressed powder. They don't look the same. They're off, right? Yes, they're very off. But I found that even though it's off, when I applied it, it did kind of just like seamlessly blend in with the Maybelline Fit Foundation. However, I just don't feel like it does anything. Like I just, oh, and I just scratched it. I don't feel like it does anything. I don't feel like it really works as a pressed powder because I want a pressed powder to set my foundation, not just sit on my face. And that's exactly what the foundation, as well as this pressed powder did. It just sat on my face. Even with me creating my right blend, mixing the two foundations together, putting it on. When you put it on initially, it looks beautiful. You think, oh my God, winner, winner, chicken dinner. But after 20 minutes, you kind of start seeing it deteriorate. And I'm not sure if that's because it has a high SPF in it, but it just... It just didn't do it. I, it just didn't cut it as far as what, as far as what I wanted this foundation to do. Now I know some of you are gonna say, "Damn, Nikia, you expecting a lot from a drugstore foundation." But there are some drugstore foundations that are pretty amazing, and I actually have one that's from Maybelline that's pretty damn amazing. So, yeah, in regards to the foundation and the pressed powders, definitely don't wear them together. Definitely don't because this pressed powder does nothing for this foundation. It does not set this foundation. It does nothing. If you're going to be wearing this foundation more than an hour, I suggest not purchasing it at all. Because after an hour, I looked as if I ran a mile and I was real, real streaky. Enough about the foundations and the pressed powders. I'm moving on to the concealer. Now, the concealer, on the other hand, I like the texture of the concealer. It's a tad bit thicker than the foundation. I like the texture of it. I love that it blends seamlessly. However, I cannot really give you an accurate um, account for the concealer because I don't use concealer to cover, to conceal anything. I use it more so to highlight the under eye areas to do a slight contour on my nose. Now I did notice when I did it, put it under my eyes and use it as a slight contour, it really didn't do make any difference. And I've used it with the Maybelline Fit Foundation and without the Maybelline Fit Foundation. And it just didn't do much. It didn't lighten the area. It doesn't have any, any brightening agents. So it was just kind of like extra cream. A downside to this foundation, however, is the packaging. Look at that. Look at the wand. The wand has enough concealer on it to probably do your whole face. Like if you wanted to actually use this concealer as foundation, just pull the wand right out of the tube. There's concealer everywhere. Now, I don't need that much concealer. And I think that this particular tube or packaging is better used for like lip glosses or clear mascara or something of that nature, not concealer. The concealer is too thin for this particular doe foot wand. And so therefore you have product all over the place. The bad part is, is that, okay, not only do you have product all over the wand, but when you go to actually put it back into the packaging, look what happens. It literally gets all over the place. So if you don't have a steady hand like me and you can't get it straight back into it, you're wasting product because it is all over the sides of the tube. And then when you go, hold up, then when you go to close it, you get the gushies. I call it the gushies. So Maybelline, what am I supposed to do with the extras? Am I supposed to use it? Or am I supposed to just take the wand out, put it back in, and just use what's gushing out of the sides? I don't like that. But 
because I have not used this as a concealer to conceal blemishes, I cannot say, oh, this is a horrible product. I can say that the packaging is bad. I can say that they need to really work on the packaging, but I can't say that it doesn't conceal because I don't use it as a concealer. So, overall, Maybelline did an outstanding job of making sure that you, me, and everybody in this country knows what Maybelline Fit is. So the marketing department, you get an A+. However, chemist, scientists, I want you to go back to the drawing board. I don't know if it's the S SPF 18 that's in this. I don't know if it's this whole, it breathes and it's whatever. You guys need to find a way to make this foundation set onto the skin because when because it doesn't set, it makes your skin feel so gross. It makes you feel like you just took some baby oil gel and just wiped it all over your skin and said, okay, ta-da, I'm beautiful. I also noticed with this foundation, it, it showed all of my imperfections. Example, I usually get my lip threaded. When I wore this foundation, I was like in between an appointment. Usually I can put on my... Uh, MAC, Tinted Moisturizer, my NARS, even my Maybelline 24, 24 hour color stay and you don't see this huge definition of oh girl you need to go get your lip threaded. This one it showed every teeny imperfection on your skin. So I would definitely say for anyone who's oily do not get this product. Even if you're dry I say try it out but make sure you keep your receipt. So overall for marketing, for advertising, I give Maybelline an A++. For chemists and scientists and formula of this product, I give you guys a D. You tried your best, but I do believe that you need to try again. So, this is my review on the Maybelline Fit Me Collection. Tell me how what your experience was with the Maybelline Fit Me Collection. Do you love it? Do you like it? Do you hate it? And wish you could return it. So until next time, until my next product review, or until, next, until, or until my next video, have a wonderful day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.